I think we're turning red. I think we're turning red. I really, really think so. So let's get cracking. Hello, all my explorers, and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. And if you are new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My name is Lauren, and I'm with Castle Escapes and Clones, where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. We do unboxings and hauls, pins, box swaps, Disney news, and like today, Disney reviews, and more. So if that sounds fun to you, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit that bell for notification, and do like this post as it really helps your favorite content creators know that you appreciate them and we in turn appreciate that. So today we are going to be talking about Turning Red, which is the new film by Disney and Pixar, which started streaming on Disney Plus today, March 11th. It also happens to be the 25th feature film for Pixar Animation Studios. The film follows Mei Li, or Mei, who is a 13-year-old Chinese-Canadian girl, um, as she makes it through life. She is a model daughter uh, and always follows what her parents say. But then around the time that she hits puberty, um, she starts noticing that she's having more emotions, you know, She's starting to question who she is. And one day, she turns into a giant red panda. This is um, because of her ancestors had had a strong connection to the red panda. Uh, women in the family would turn into uh, a red panda at about this time. And really, all Maylin wants to do is get to a concert with her friends of her favorite boy band, Four Town. The film takes place in the, about 2002, which is about the same time that the director grew up. The film is directed by Domi Shi, the Academy Award winning director of the Pixar short, Bao, and it is written by her and Julia Cho. Starring as May is uh, newcomer Rosalie Chang, and starring as Ming, her mother, is veteran Sandra Oh. I really like this film. I thought that it was just fun and hilarious. Um, the thing that I liked about it, I think the most, was the fact that it avoided the classic Pixar trope of a buddy film. I, I don't, I cannot think of another Pixar film that is not a buddy film. This film is strictly about May and her journey. Yes, it has her friends in it. Yes, it has her mom in it. But this really is about May and her uh, coming to age. Also, the film is an allegory for puberty and the changes that a young woman makes during that age. As an Asian American, I, I, I really related to May. Um, for having that kind of cultural and generational gap, uh, for wanting to be that model child and always respecting your parents. But then when you hit puberty, you start questioning things and, um, you know, there's a lot that goes into that for having to grow up in a different culture. Also, I always appreciate when there are people of Asian descent as main characters in a Disney or Pixar film or any animated film because hashtag representation matters. It really does. And it just does my heart good to see, you know, recently I've seen a lot of Asian Americans in terms of film, but also in terms of animation, which is wonderful. The style is very Pixar meets anime. I think that's because uh, Dami Shi is a big fan of anime. Um, you've got these like really nice, vibrant colors, um, mostly in hushed pinks and reds, which makes sense for the movie. Um, the 
characters go from their normal look to a very super distorted look like you see in Japanese anime whenever they're um, going through some kind of having some kind of emotional thing like you know when they see May as a red panda they fall in love the eyes just get bigger um, it's really cute and it's very different from for a Pixar film and as a side note <laughs> I think that May looks like Lucy Van Pelt from the Peanuts, but with a more uh, proportional body. The film has a lot of humor to it, but mostly, I think, heart. You really do feel for May as she makes her journey to womanhood. This film, sadly, is not going to be for everyone, uh, especially people who can't deal with women's re reproductive health. Uh, there is a scene in there where Ming, May's mother, thinks that May is having her first period. And, you know, there's a little bit of humor to it, but, you know, it's a natural part of one's life. But I've already heard people decrying it, and it's just, you know, it's sad because it's nothing big and you know people should be talking about this thing. also there was one reviewer who tweeted that this was pixar's quote unquote horniest film uh it, it's so not i mean it's very innocent i can see what you were trying to say but it's very innocent. I know that there's been a lot of people on the internet who have been telling people not to watch this film, even though they haven't seen it themselves, because of this review. Whether you see this film, it's really up to you, but I highly recommend this film. Um, I think that for young kids, they're not going to understand some of the um, more kind of adult aspects. It'll just go over their head. And I think that they will still enjoy the humor and the heart and the story of it all. Um, the animation, which is just wonderful. But I also think that it's an incredible moment for teaching opportunity. Especially if your child is about that age. To take this moment and talk to them about the things that young women go through. I think that um, I think it's important than kind of sticking your head in the sand. I really commend Pixar for making a film like this, both in terms of style and content. It's very different um, from what we have normally seen from Pixar. I really hope that this starts going chi on a blessed career in feature animation films. So I really do hope that it. it works out for her. So anyway, let me know, did you get a chance to watch Turning Red? And if you did, let me know in the comments below. Do you plan on watching it? I would also like to hear that as well. I hope that you enjoyed this review. I'm finally getting back into doing reviews on, on this channel. If you enjoyed yourself, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel hit the bell for notification, and do like this post. It really does help us out. Visit us on all of our socials down below. Visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you later. Bye!